Cadet Senior and Ambassador Service Awards. Welcome to our presentation. Today we're here talking about the awards that Cadet Seniors and Ambassadors can earn for giving service. Your presenters today are Alyssa and Selena. Alyssa, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Alyssa. I am a Senior Girl Scout member of the Service Unit team in the local area. I am also a, a delegate for Council. And I'm Selena, a Service Unit Manager, Troop Leader, and a trainer for older girls and leaders. Our audience is the older girls and their troop leaders, so you can uh, begin to understand what these awards are. Our agenda today is to talk about the service bars, both their requirements and council resources and reporting for the bars, and then the torch awards. We do have an additional presentation about the LIA and PA, that's the leader in action, and program aid, as well as uh, council has presentations on the silver and gold awards. So let's talk about the service bars. There are two different bars that girls can earn. The service to Girl Scouting bar is green backed and the community service bar is the color of the girls level that corresponds to their girls guide to Girl Scouting. Where you can find information about the service bars. Alyssa? So each of these books corresponds with the color of the level of girl that you are. So the cadet handbook is red, the senior handbook is orange, and the ambassador handbook is yellow. Um, to find the girl's guide to girl scouting for cadets, page 26, seniors, page 28, ambassadors, 26. These are very important resources for girls because it has everything an older girl can do. So if older girls are interested in a badge they might want to do or anything they really want to achieve, they can look in these books. They can ask their leaders, hey, can I borrow the book to just look at um, this badge? I want to see what the requirements are, see if I've already done it, anything like that. So service to Girl Scouting. You can earn once per grade level. It's service within Girl Scouts and has to be about 20 hours, helping troops, helping the service unit, helping council. Alyssa, what did you do to earn yours? I started off earning this badge by babysitting for the service unit when we had, t when we had meetings, um, doing cookie pickup, fall product pickup, and rewards pickup. There are multiple ways you can help out. Just get involved and ask around. One key point to note is no double dipping. What does that mean? You cannot use hours for other Girl Scouts award toward this award. So say you are working with a Brownie troop for your LIA leader in action or your PA program aid. You cannot use those hours for that award toward this award. So start with the LIA and then move on to service to Girl Scouting. If you are also earning a badge that requires you to go to a different level of Girl Scout to help out or to meet, you cannot use those hours because you are already earning that badge. Community service, you can also earn once per grade level, but it must be with one organization only and must be pre-approved by council before starting. It is service outside of Girl Scouts for approximately 20 hours. Alyssa, again, what did you do for your community service bar? At church, I volunteered to usher. So I got started by talking to the pastors when I could do this and when they needed it. So I did this about twice a month, and I was logging my hours, and it totaled to my 20 hours. Again, there's no double dipping with this and no multiple organizations. You cannot use hours for other Girl Scout awards toward this. If your badge says to go volunteer someplace or go do work for an outside organization, that again goes to your badge. So where do you go to report your service bar hours? You're going to go to our council website. Remember, for your service to Girl Scouting, it does not have to be pre-approved. Talk to your leader, talk to whoever you're giving the service to, the troop leader, um, but you're going to have to report the hours and what you did. For the 
community service bar, you're going to have to get it pre-approved and uh, get the hours signed off on by your community liaison. So you're going to visit our council website at www.girlscoutsgcnwi.org. You're going to click on the bar in the top where it says for girls and then girls give back. You're going to submit a report and your hours and then council is going to email you a voucher for the pin. Moving on, we're going to talk about the torches. So just like the other side of these books are here again teaching you about the torches and where to find all the good information about them. So, yeah. So again, look at page 26 of your cadet book, page 28 of your senior book, and page 26 of your ambassador handbook. The torch awards combine service with leadership. So the first thing you're going to do, Alyssa, walk us through the steps. So first you're going to earn a leadership journey award for your level. Then you will serve one full term in a leadership comp in leadership capacity. So this could look like being a patroller at school, uh, even being a captain on a team, student council, and then if your troop has a troop government, then you can serve um, one full year term. So again, if you're unsure, or leaders, if you're unsure, reach out to your service unit team, reach out to your leadership team to get clarification on how to earn these awards. For both the Service to Girl Scout and service, Community Service and the Torch Awards, these are all pins, and they go underneath your uh, brownie wings on your vest or sash. So they are front of the vest awards and can be, you can, um, wear all three of them per each level for a total of nine pins. So let's talk about frequently asked questions. Okay, so can I count hours I volunteered with my younger sister's troop for the Service to Girl Scouting Award? That's a great question and the answer is maybe. Are you earning a different award for it? Are you perhaps earning, working with her Brownie troop to earn your LIA? Then those hours and activities count to the LIA only. If you're earning your program aid by helping out if she's a Daisy Brownie or Junior, then those hours and activities count to the PA only. If you have earned those awards or you don't want to earn them or your cadet senior ambassador level, you can absolutely continue to keep track and report your service to Girl Scouting um, hours for the award. I am a safety patrol at school, serve as a, an altar attendant at church, and volunteer with the park district every other week doing various things. What award would that be? Well, first of all, congratulations for giving to your community. If you want to get the service to community bar, you have to pick one of those organizations to track and give 20 hours to them. Before you track, you have to be pre-approved. So again, see the Girls Give Back webpage on our council website at www.girlscoutsgcnwi.org. If you are serving in multiple capacities, you can count those towards any number of other hours and badges. So be on the lookout for where your service to community can actually help you gain other awards. And with that, we'd like to thank you for participating in our presentation.